Okay, this is the do-it-yourself hackerspace book scanner that I recently built. It's made entirely of plywood. Two pieces of glass for the platen. This here is the book carrier. And this whole thing goes up and down like that. I'm using two Canon ELF 160 cameras to take the photos. And I'm using a Raspberry Pi running a special piece of software called PiScan that you'll see here in a second. Okay, here's PiScan. PiScan is designed to be interfaced with one of two ways. You see the bar here? If I had a touch screen, I could touch that bar to begin scanning. Or I can use the keyboard. And for this demonstration, we are going to scan this book. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is power up my cameras. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Each camera has a battery eliminator in it, which means I don't have to stop and recharge my cameras all the time. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this manual in the scanner. Because we need to get this configured. So we're going to begin scanning. It finds the storage that I've installed which is a 32 gigabyte USB thumb drive. It's going to find the cameras. Now each camera runs a firmware called CHDK uh, which is a custom firmware uh, designed specifically for this kind of operation. I'm going to hit back really quick because I want to adjust my zoom. So I'll hit 2 and we'll take a test shot and see what we get. And that looks pretty good. I could probably bump that zoom in a little bit more. So let's do that for both the left and the right camera. Zoom level is now four if you couldn't see that on the screen. Let's take another test shot and see what we get. That looks pretty good. I need to adjust the position of the document though. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll take another test shot. That's much better. So let's go ahead and uh, start this whole scanning thing. Actually, we need to do a refocus, I think. Yeah, refocus, so we hit three. That looks good. So we'll hit next, and now we are going to begin scanning. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? First thing we need to do is set up for the first page. don't like the look of that.
Much better. So I can take this out. There we go. That is a scanned book. Next, we'll go to processing. In order to process the images off of the uh, scanner, I use a piece of software called ScanTailor Advanced. ScanTailor Advanced is an open source editing package that allows me to process all of the images off of the camera in order to make a complete document out of them. So let's go ahead and create a new project. First we pick an input directory. And in this case it's the raw images directory. And then we're going to create this output directory here. And this is either wrong or it, it could be wrong. I don't know. I just this is the way that I do it. And now we're bringing in all of the images. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this because I don't need this image. So we'll go over here and we'll remove that from the project. And remember, we had there was an issue down here in the bottom. So what I had to do is I rescanned that but I didn't change any of the camera settings or the software settings. So we'll go through and we'll remove that again. Okay, so that's our good scan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this image. We like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to apply that to this page and the following every other page. Okay, so that rotates it off so you can see it's readable. And we'll do the same thing with this one, but we'll flip it the other way. Apply to this page and the following every other page. And then we'll click the play button over here, which will go ahead and process everything. And now we go to split pages. And split pages essentially grabs the page and figures out where that piece of glass is at. Okay. Whoops, that one's upside down. I gotta fix that one. Do I have more that are upside down? Nope, it's just that one that's upside down. So we'll go back up here to fix orientation and we'll fix that one really quick. And then go back to split pages. So you can see it, it makes a pretty good guess. So we'll go ahead and we'll Go ahead and hit the play button on that one, and that will go ahead and fix or identify all of the pages or the, the split lines. And then next, we're going to go to DSKU. Now, DSKU, what that does is it allows me to correct for any angular changes in the camera. And as you can see, you click on each one and you can check it to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. And there's little grabbers here, you can grab it and turn it. And because of the grid, you can easily line things up to make sure that the page is square. And we'll spot check a couple of these just to make sure that it's grabbing what we think it should. 
and that looks okay. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll hit the play button over here again and we're going to de-skew everything. And uh, the machine I'm doing this on is an i7-8700K. And during the processing, it actually utilizes all 12 available cores, and it pegs them at 100%. <laughs> okay, so now we need to select the content. Con select content is it's the system's best guess as to what the, the actual page content is. You can see here that it missed a little bit, and we're going to go all the way out to the edge here because I'm missing this C from the crescent, and that's... A scan problem, my own fault, and I'll probably have to go back and rescan that just a little bit later at some point. Um, but for for black and white and grayscale images, it does a really good job. So, we'll, so we're going to have to go through and we're going to spot check these. And I actually, instead of spot checking, I go through and I make sure that each one is actually correct. So that's what I'm going to do, and we're going to go really fast right here. Now, as you can see, every one of those pages came out great. I didn't have to touch them or do anything else like that. But sometimes you'll see this pink area, or the dot pink, this purple area, uh, won't grab the whole page. And in those cases, you have got to manually adjust it. Like here is just that condition. You see where it stops right there? We need to pull that down and grab the extents of the page. And then this is the last shot, so we'll go ahead and we will remove that from the project because we don't need it. Our next task is to, normally you can set margins. I don't set margins, I don't mess with it. I go straight to the output. In this case, the system thinks that it is black and white. We're going to change it to a color grayscale. And we're going to go back up to the top here. And we're going to change this into a color and grayscale as well. And I saw some employee photos in here, which we will change the grayscale to make them look a little bit better. It would be nice if I could pick the grayscale for just individual areas, but unfortunately, I don't know if it can be done. That's entirely possible, mind you, but. There's another graphic. Yeah. Okay. Go back up here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit the play button on this one, and it's going to generate all of the output files. And what it's doing is it's taking each input and creating uh, a TIFF image in the out directory. And we'll let that process. And there we go. You can see when you look at it, now it's all black and white. Boy, I don't care for that at all, but we'll see what Acrobat does with it. So we'll go over here and we'll kick off Acrobat. And we're going to create a PDF from multiple files. Go to add files. We'll go to Quick Talk Volume 2. 
the output directory. We're going to select all of it, unselect the cache directory, and hit open. And then let's click combine. And it's processing it. Okay, so there it is in PDF form, but we've got one more task we need to perform here. What we're going to go ahead and do is go to Enhance Scans, and we're going to Recognize Text. And what that'll do is it'll, all, it'll apply additional de-skewing if it needs it, a little bit of de-warping, and it will OCR every single page. And there we go. We are all done. You can see, I'm selecting text works, searching. And that's all she wrote. And that's how we go from, even in here, it's all OCR. So that's all, folks. That's how you go from uh, essentially a hand built book scanner to a searchable and uh, OCR PDF document. Thanks for watching.